watching Toys R Us TV. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Hi guys, it's Jordan, Alyssa, and April from Animal Adventure Park. And you're watching Toys R Us TV. Thus far, the calf has been very inquisitive, very outgoing, and really doesn't mind keeping some distance from mom, uh, which is very adventurous for a younger calf. Generally, generally, they're underfoot quite a bit, but our little guy is already showing perhaps a little more personality traits of his father. Just about every day we come in here, we can't help but take photos and sit back and enjoy the interactions of the calf with his mom and his dad. Some of the best moments we get to capture is when mom and baby will go nose to nose and share a kiss, or when baby is nursing and mom leans over just to reassure him with a little giraffe hug. Another really neat moment is the interaction between Baby and Oliver. Uh, Baby will go over to the fence line and Oliver comes down and the two do, do nose to nose and they even kiss a little bit which is great because it shows us that Oliver has taken a calm but inquisitive interest and is pretty uh, encouraging for possibly sharing space in the near future. Baby is still nursing on mom but in the next few months and he's already even showing signs of it now he's going to start nibbling and investigating his hay and that's again part of the inquisitive nature of giraffes. Now certainly if he's nibbling on it it doesn't mean he's eating it just yet. He's going to rely on mom for at least another six, eight, ten, even up to fifty. 15 months of her milk to make sure he stays happy, healthy, and strong. Just in the past two days, we've opened over 700 pieces of mail. Um, that doesn't count our packages. We've received gifts from all over the world. Everything from handmade crocheted items and baby blankets. A lot of the, the messages we get are just, you know, sincere thanks for the camera and the, the benefit it's played in their, their lives or even their children's lives. I just opened up a fan letter that we read and it was a mother with her little boy who was autistic and had a horrible time going to bed every night. Each night they would watch the camera and he would go to sleep without issue and wake up in the morning excited to, to watch again so for a lot of these children they've been e able to find some source of, of direction and, and um, I guess um, encouragement I, I don't know um, and it's, it's it's touching people which is very rewarding you're watching Toys R Us TV the Chief Play Officer for the rest of Canada. Let's go! Everyone does toys with new technology. Right? She has four modes, friendship mode, song mode, story mode, and magic mode. We're going to the Javin Center to see more. I love how all the Barbies are so different and they're all really fun. It feels important and I have to tell them what I think about toys. I have to be honest. And so far I've liked them all. Working with Toys R Us is amazing because they're all so nice. Her hair is very soft. I know, right? And they have the best toys. And telling people what's hot is awesome because I've always wanted to be a toy expert, and now I am. It was really awesome meeting Ariana, the, pres the president of Play, and uh, I hope we work together and do other events like this together. I told him thank you for taking pictures of me. He's also really nice, and he gave me a fist bump. He said congratulations and stuff like that, and I said thank you, and it was just a nice conversation. Toys R Us is very proud to be part of the launch of uh, Light Seekers in partnership with Play Fusion and Tomy. For over six dec decades, Toys R Us' whole mission is to bring new innovation, new technology, and the hottest, coolest products to our stores and to our customers. 
That's why we're so excited to be seeing such awesome in innovation launched here in partnership with us today. We scour the world looking at the video games industry, the electronics industry, and the toy industry, really to really to find the best possible technologies. And in Lightseekers, we see a mashup of incredible technologies coming together. That's why we're so proud to be the launch partner on July 1st, Saturday, July 1st, for the first time, you'll be able to get your hands on Lightseekers amazing action figures, accessories, and trading cards. In addition, on April 17th on ToysRus.com, you'll be able to pre-order these awesome products uh, to buy in, in July. So we're really excited uh, to offer those uh, opportunities to our customers for the first time. Why do we love this product? We love this product because it has incredible innovation, an awesome immersive game, but it has incredible toys. And first and foremost, these toys stand up on their own without any video game. They're awesome, they've got fantastic design, incredible articulation, but they have a brain and a computer at the heart of them that make them the controller for the actual game itself. That's a unique experience that we've never seen before. Now add to that trading cards, add to that the fact that you can uh, get different levels and different experiences in the game and collect, which is a core part of what kids want to do. You put all of those things together and you have an incredibly unique position. What we'll be doing at Toys R Us is working with Tomy and with Playfusion to bring that story to life in our stores and on our website. We're happy to report there's two new outlet stores that have opened in the month of May in Ontario, California and Miami, Florida. There's now 46 Toys R Us outlet stores across the country with four more opening over the next few months. Toys R Us started opening permanent outlet stores in 2010. We've got a much more modern look and feel to our experience. We're occupying the entire real estate of the screen. We're building out new navigation capabilities and new search capabilities that are gonna make it much easier to find product. When you get down to those category pages, we're gonna see richer images, larger images, that are gonna make you a much more compelling experience. Checkout is amazing. We're talking from five clicks down to two. Registry, we've got a whole new experience going on here. We've got the dashboard, which is showing greater visibility into what's being purchased off the registry. One of the focuses of this website is really bridging the digital experience with the store experience. We want this to be a vehicle by which we can bring our customers back to our stores. Hi, I'm Brie Bella. And I'm Daniel Bryan. And you're watching Toys R Us TV. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hi, 
The nice thing about Babies R Us, it's a one-stop shop. It's so nice to come in here and you can get anything from adorable outfits to car seats to... To baby beds. monitors, to, they have full crib sets. The, they have everything that you would want or need or... Even that, laundry stuff. Yeah, that you could look for. Like we're, So we have a gray water system for our laundry. And so you can only use certain types of laundry detergent. And they have the laundry detergent because we want to use cloth diapers. They have You guys have the laundry detergent that we would need right. for our cloth diapers. Yeah. So. It was great meeting Liz because she was so helpful. I think so many times moms try to do this on your own and I know someone like myself had three different registries on three different websites and it was a disaster. So when you come in to someone who's really knowledgeable and knows exactly what you want and what you're doing, it's just, it makes life so much easier. Well, and as first time parents, like we don't know exactly what we need, right? And like when you Google it, okay, what do we need for our first yeah. baby, right? Like. It's better to have somebody who knows and who's helped people along this process multiple times to help you along with something like that. Yeah. If you're a first time mom like myself, just come in here because people know what they're doing. They can help you out. Sometimes I think we try too hard to figure it out on our own. And when you have places like this, you don't need to. I like the list of, that you guys give us of the essentials. Like, okay, do we have mattress pad covers, right? Do we, do, we have, do we have these things that we just haven't thought of before? And then while you're browsing around, like, okay, give yourself time to look and like enjoy the experience. What I loved about the scanner is it made me feel very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> but it made everything so easy and convenient and for Brian and I who love to like browse around and just look at different things it's so nice to be able to have something just handy and walk with you and scan but there's something very fun about this. I think as a husband most husbands will be able to relate I both loved and hated the scanner. <laughs> it gave my wife the ability to scan whatever she wanted. That's right. Whatever she could imagine. Oh this is great and I had to actually <laughs> take it away from her because she was okay, one time. getting a little too wild with the scanner. There's just so many great things in here. Sorry. Giraffes have been trending worldwide lately. Thanks to this pressing question. When giraffes go to work, should they wear a tie at the top or bottom of their necks? At the bottom. The top. The bottom. Bottom. Who better to settle this debate than the most famous giraffe in the world? Jeffrey from Toys R Us. Jeffrey arrived bright and early at the Toys R Us in Totowa, New Jersey with a pep in his step. But after a look in the mirror, even Jeffrey wasn't sure which tie looked better. So we asked the people who know Jeffrey best, Toys R Us customers and team members. I like at the bottom. He looks more professional like that. The one at the bottom. The bottom. I like the top of the neck, it's more formal. I can get this one, the bottom one. I would keep it right here, personally. I like it right here, the middle. The middle. He shouldn't be wearing a tie today anyway. It's Friday. And I think it looks more natural on his lower neck. That person's up here, it looks like it's strangling him. On top, it looks like it's choking him. And down here, it looks more proportioned to his body. What do you think? Bottom, right? Yeah, it says bottom. In a landslide, the necktie at the bottom was the clear winner. We should mention that Jeffrey doesn't mind wearing a formal bow tie on those special occasions either. Hi moms and dads, I'm Toys R Us president of play, Ariana Gentry, reporting for Disney Family, and I'm here on the red carpet for the premiere of Cars 3. Today, I'm going to play trivia with the stars, help design a Cars 3 mural, and then end the evening in Cars Land. Would you like to play a game of Cars Trivia? What am I going to say no to you? Of course. What's Lightning McQueen's catchphrase? Ka-chow. 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 Uh, zoom, zoom. <laughs> it's actually ka-chow, but that's OK. Yeah, that's what I meant. Ka-chow. <laughs> okay. I was speaking Italian. What is the town where Lightning McQueen ends up in the first movie? Radiator Springs. Yes. Yeah. Radiator Springs. In Radiator the first movie. Springs. Yay, good job. Thank you. I'm in the movie. <laughs> what number is Lightning McQueen? Lightning McQueen is number 95. Oh, that's easy, 95. 95. 95. It is the year 
that Toy Story came out, which was Pixar's first movie, 1995. What is Mater's hidden secret driving talent? He can drive backwards really, really fast. He can drive backwards. He's the world's best backward driver. Can you give us your best to get her done? Get her done. This is a craft that parents can do with their kids. Do you mind adding a piece to my car's three mural? Oh, I would love to. I'm gonna stick it right here. Would you like to pose with me? Yes, please. Now let's see what's going on inside Cars Land for the world premiere after party. Come on, let's go. I had such a good time on the red carpet. The movie was awesome and Cars Land is a blast. Parents, be sure to take your kids to see Cars 3 in theaters June 16th in 3D. And visit Toys R Us, your destination for Cars 3 toys. Disney Pixar's Cars 3 in 3D this summer. April the Giraffe. 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 Yes. Our favorite giraffe, April. <laughs> the zoo has partnered with Toys R Us for the live giraffe camp. It looks like April's calf will be a Toys R Us kid. One day you notice this Toys R Us logo pops up and everyone's <laughs> like, what the heck? This is a video feed that's been captivating people for weeks, showing it late at night, early in the morning, really at all hours. Five million people were checking in on the pregnancy of April. Warning, April the giraffe finally gave birth on Saturday. For the longest time, this feed was sponsored by Toys R Us. After the calf came into the picture, it's now sponsored by Babies R Us. It went from Toys R Us sponsoring it to... Babies R Us. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Obviously now, but she's born. How about that? Two months that later. Happened. Hi everyone, this is Taylor at Babies R Us. We are here talking today about sun safety for your little one. And of course, you always want to start out with sunscreen. Pack one and pack another one just in case. And you can never go wrong with bug spray since itchy owies are no fun on vacation. So one thing that I think is awesome and not only awesome but super adorable are these bathing suits UV protected so you have an additional layer of sun protection past that sunscreen. And of course if you're going out into the sun make sure your little one has a hat. This shark one is so cute. Or sunglasses if your little one enjoys having their sunglasses on. I know I was not one of those kids, but there are definitely kids out there who love their sunnies. Um, and of course, we want to always jazz up the outfit. Here's a cute little bag that they can throw their own towel in or any snacks that they want to bring to the beach with them. Thanks for joining us today, and you can find any of these products on babiesrus.com or at your local Babies R Us store. Yonkers, New York, the crossroads between Broadway and the Hudson. Inside this town, there's a Toys R Us store doing big things. A big reason why? <laughs> These four ladies, Miriam, Patty, Sharon, and Joan, have been working at Toys R Us for more than 100 years combined. I've been with Toys R Us for 27 years. I've been with the company 28 years and a half. 33 years. I'm here 37 years. I'm only 37 years old. No. <laughs> you know, you have your family at home, but you also have your Toys R Us family. And they're in your heart no matter what. You may bicker every day like a regular family, but at the end of the day, we're there to support each other. AA14EO2, okay. So let's see, Frozen Toddler Anna. 
I check in their deliveries. I make sure our inventory is correct. I do RGD. Well, you have to love what you do first. And I do. I love the people I work with. A lot of the customers are pleased when they come in, they see me. They always ask it for me because I know how to help them and they normally know you because you've been here for so long. Their kids grew up in the store and they were like, you still here? And I'm like, yeah, where am I going? This is my job, you know. Well, I'm so happy to see you, you know. Well, one lady, she was like, I came to the store looking for you and you was off. You can't be off when I want to come shop, you know. We have more, more napkins. I'll give you a hand with that. A lot of times we get the new hires, which end up being the children of past workers of Toys R Us. They come back and they wind up working with us. So that has been the best, seeing them as little ones and then come in as adults and work with us. It's a family that you gain when you work in Toys R Us. I lost my husband and the family was here for me. They even did food shopping for me and everything. We help each other and when something happened, even in the store and out of the store. They are all great. I mean, they make my day when they come in here because uh, they always have something funny to say or do something. So, you know, you're, you're going 200 miles an hour and you need that every day, you know, with them coming in here. The knowledge that they have of the business, uh, they know more than we'll ever know from being here for so long. And it's constantly changing, so, which is a great thing. Ever since joining the team four years ago, store manager Jim Previs has helped reshape how the store organizes its stock rooms and inventory. This is our main stock room that we have during season, uh, even on a regular basis. Uh, as you can see, everything is located in different aisles. Uh, our bulk stacks that we have for our Christmas areas, uh, we're ready for tonight's truck. We get a truck every single night. And this is our, our standards inside our store here, uh, making sure that we're ready for the next day. But the important thing is that it's all scanned in. You'll see these tickets everywhere uh, that we have. It's for location purposes, so we know where everything is that's downstairs here. This is our overstock area that we have for our diapers. Uh, we, if we're out of stock down here, we're actually out of stock on the floor. So we actually use this as a guide uh, to keep, our, you know, keep the store in stock. We actually have 275 bikes assembled, uh, ready to go for our customers when they come in to pick them up. During springtime, we actually have close to 400 bikes assembled waiting for our customers. Every one of them is unique on what they do. Uh, and they all work for the same goal, to make the store the best store we have. And uh, I think we're at that point right now. And it's, it's not just me, it's, it's the team members. If you don't have this type of organization, uh, the store is not gonna succeed you know, through, the, uh, through the holiday season. The Toys R Us in Yonkers is a $20 million store, and it is the very first we recognize as a Toys R Us store of excellence. We are Toys R Us. This is bad! This is bad! The water temperature is not exactly what I had requested from the teams. I got my super soaker, and I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> you want to get me wet, you're going to take some shots. At any time like this, there's anxiety, but I'm going to overcome it and get in that dunk tank. Everyone is so excited and that just makes me so happy and they love the products. I shop Babies R Us for all my grandbabies. Uh, I've got four. Uh, I'm actually Jessica's mom. Hi, Kathy. Uh, yeah, so I just love you guys and we're such a great partners with you guys. I just think it's great. And I love Jeffrey. I carry him with us. I actually train the BRUs. There's usually five or six stores that they have already pre-picked that we go into and we do it on a Sunday and it's 
for two hours and so much fun and we do play games with them. We teach them about the products, especially the formulas and things that they need to know facts about. Um, and it's just great and they love it. They, they, this is the best training, it's so much fun. So we're really happy that they really love it. It's my favorite thing to do in the day. My first thing I do when I get on property is I come down and I check on baby, I check on mom, uh, and it immediately puts on a smile on my face. I can walk in in the worst mood and I take one look at our baby boy and everything is completely different and I'm in the greatest of moods. Part of my job here at the park is to raise all kinds of baby animals. I have worked with baby kangaroos, baby wallabies, baby warthogs, you name it, I've done it. But at this point, our baby giraffe is my first baby giraffe and I'm so excited to be working with him and taking these first steps right along with him. Well, I have gotten my first baby kiss in, a couple kisses after that, which is beyond exciting for me. I danced down these hallways uh, the first time I got my baby kiss. Now these kisses are very limited at this point because mom is still taking care of him and she only lets me hang out with him sometimes, not all the time. But those kisses are abundant both with him and mom still gets lots and lots of kisses from me as well. Now that he's gotten used to us, used to the situation, we see just how curious he is and just how much he loves when we come in with a shovel and he doesn't know what it is and he wants to check it out. He wants to be a part of the scene, uh, which is absolutely fantastic for us. Hi, I'm Candace. I'm here at Babies Are Us showing you some of the hot items for this summer for staycations. One of them that's my favorite is this little tykes grill. It grows with your child from toddler to preschool and it comes with all of the essentials that your little chef is going to need from spatulas to your hamburgers and hot dogs. You can grill it all. But it also has clicking knobs like mom and dad's and a working lid. This is gonna be so much fun for your little one this summer. And don't forget the bubbles. Who doesn't love bubbles? This is the item for you. This is the Gazillion Bubbles Monsoon Machine. And it shoots off a gazillion bubbles at once. It is so much fun for outside, for, for a bunch of kids. It's so much fun. Look how many bubbles. Hey everyone, this is Taylor with Babies Are Us. I am here to talk about some safety items you should bring with you if you are traveling this summer. So if you are heading to a hotel or even grandma's house, make sure to throw these in your bag. These are simple fixes like outlet covers and door and knob locks that will make sure baby doesn't get into anything that they're not supposed to. And of course, pack a safety travel kit. This little first aid kit is super cute. You can write your family name or your kid's name on it and it has everything you might need if your little one takes a tumble. I'm Tyler here with Baby Zeros of Bridgewater. Here at our store, we have a stroller test track where you're able to test out all different types of terrain to see how you are when buying a stroller. We have this Graco travel system. Now when buying a stroller, all different things go through your head. How's it gonna work on the grass? How's it gonna work on pavement, wood, deck, whatever? So you're able to test out all these different possibilities quickly, five, 10 minutes, and get all the questions you need answered right here at Bridgewater. So you're going upstairs, onto the deck, a little summer barbecue action. It's working out nice. Back to the grass. When buying a stroller, the test track here is a great resource to have. You're able to test that out, see how the resistance is on each stroller, get all your questions answered. Normally you go to a store and it's just that tile floor, you're not really getting a real world feeling while using the stroller. Here you come, the mothers, the dads really appreciate it, they're able to try it out. We have the guests come in, they look for their stroller and sometimes the test track alone seals the deal for them because they get that experience that they want that real world experience from the test track and it's actually closed a couple deals. We have created a circus like atmosphere. Our mascot Jeffrey is greeting everybody at the front door and we've got clowns and jugglers and food and refreshments and music and activities for 
these young children who are here as patients and their brothers and their sisters and their families. It's experiences like this that just allow our kids to be kids and they can forget about the fact that they're sick and, and, and just come here and just have a great time and be completely distracted from all the things that they're going through. We're a global brand that's all about families through our Babies Are Us and our Toys Are Us brands. For us to partner with an organization that brings health to children and who, you know, brings research dollars to hopefully help rid the world of some of these childhood diseases, these cancers that are so devastating. There is no more noble undertaking for us as a brand and a company. We're so fortunate to have our partnership with Toys R Us and it, it, it means the world to us. It's all about kids and our mission is, is about finding cures and saving children's lives. And, and you know, Toys R Us and Babies R Us enrich the lives of kids. And, and, and you know, I just think it's a very, very natural partnership between Toys R Us and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Toys R Us has opened seven outlet stores in cities like Philadelphia and Memphis. They started opening permanent outlet store formats in 2010 and now have a total of 45 outlet stores open across the country. Six more outlets are expected to open in the next few months. Hey guys, I'm Charlotte Flair and you are watching Toys R Us TV. I got here at 2 3 in the morning. I was sitting in the parking lot. I've been out here for like literally for like almost 10 hours. WWE logo and then now forever. We came all the way from Brussels, Belgium. Yeah, we're from Australia. We're here from Germany. We're from North Carolina, Baltimore. Oh. Custom so they can look just <laughs> like Charlotte. I will bow down to her. <laughs> um, that's plain and simple. It's nice that Toys R Us have providing this for all the fans. When I first get out of the car, it's crazy to see them all waiting outside. For me, I don't know, it's just sometimes it doesn't feel real. Like we get used to live events and shows and having our fans there, but coming out to see me on just a regular afternoon at Toys R Us, it's pretty cool. When I was a little kid, um, my dad used to take me and my brother to Toys R Us and he'd say, get whatever you want, because we were pretty spoiled. But I just remember always getting my dad's doll and to think, you know, 20 years later, here I am in a dual pack with my dad at Toys R Us They used to take, take us to all the time. Um, it's pretty surreal. Well, it just goes to show how big WrestleMania is and, you know, the universe, the fan bases, not just here. But also, you know, Orlando is the home of NXT and to know I started here and my career is coming full circle. I just, I look forward to meeting each and every person that came out to support me and get an action figure. This is my first day being the Chief Play Officer for Toys R Us Canada. How I became Chief Play Officer is I sent a little video to Toys R Us and uh, Toys R Us looked at the video and then there was a, a finalist round and they chose me as the new CPO. My favorite toy is my pogo stick. It's like a, a stick that you jump with it. As Chief Play Officer, it, my job is to help give givers and parents to, to know what's a good tour for their children and to help them, to give advice what's a perfect tour and they can become super gift givers. I found me really lucky to have this job and uh, I work really hard to get this job because I really wanted it and it's the best job ever. It's a wrap!
happier about this. It's so ridiculous. For uh, a lot of this was just, you know, ideas we came up with as it went along and somehow we were just trying to do something different and before we knew it we had this ridiculous match with all these weapons hanging and they created this asylum for us so it was a pretty cool uh, pretty cool thing for us and to see it in the form of a, a toy that kids can play with you know going to you know I was a little kid I played with you know wrestling figures and stuff too you know and like seeing Mitch the plant immortalized in Mattel form is, is touching because that, that plant died a very painful death and you can reenact it because the pot breaks and you can put it back together so yeah it couldn't be any cooler I'm very pumped you think of a toy store you think of Toys R Us so the king of toy stores so WWE is you know the king of you know entertainment for the whole family so we need to be in there with the king of the toy stores I'm Ariana, the Toys R Us's president of play. Have I got a surprise for you on this week's episode. I'm unboxing the winning toy from ABC's competition show, The Toy Box. The winning toy is Mattel's Art Splash. What's really cool about this toy is you can create colorful designs using water. You can even use the color dyes to create any color combination you want. Then use the aqua pen and draw the colored water onto the sheets. And the best part is, once you're finished, all you have to do is wipe it clean and start again. Let's get art splashing. Are you ready to open it, Jeffrey? So this looks like the aqua pen. These look like the colors. And I think this one's the tray. And then the sheets and the instructions. Okay, now time to set up and then we'll start reading the directions. Okay, now let's see how we can get started. Hey mom, I need some water. Then I have to fill each cup to the fill line. Cup two. And finally, cup three. Next, you take one of the dye containers and drop three to four drops into the water. Last, yellow. Okay, so next to mix, mix a color, all you have to do, squeeze it in there, get the other color, and then mix them together. And I mixed blue and red to make purple. Okay, so next I'm going to pick which color sheet I want to do. There's lots of different ones, but I think I'm going to do this one because it looks like a dancing robot. Now let's make some art. Now it's bubbling up. It looks just like jelly. Now I'm done with my rainbow dancing robot. I had a ton of fun painting this. So now it's time to clean up. All you have to do is lift the art sheet and pour it into the dish. 
And if it doesn't come off all the way, all you have to do is ask your parents for a paper towel. And then it's ready for next time you want to play. And it was an easy cleanup. We didn't even get anything on our hands. Me and Jeffrey had so much fun playing with Art Splash today. I think kids are going to love it. I know I do. Bye, guys. Watching Toys R Us TV. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Next up, Lightning McQueen. Toys R Us presents Kids Unboxing Toys. On today's episode, we're unboxing Spiro's Ultimate Lightning McQueen. Hi everybody, I'm Lucas, and we're unboxing Spiro's Ultimate Lightning McQueen. I'm a huge fan of Disney Pixar's cars. This is amazing, I can't wait to unbox this thing and get ready to play with it. Before we open this thing, let's see what it does. Whoa, Emona's suspension allows lightning to move like a champion. Drift to do donuts. I love donuts. Animatronic mouth. Running LED headlights and taillights, expressive LCD eyes, Bluetooth connection, responsive to touch. That okay. seems cool. Lifelike voice and engine sounds. Now let's open this thing up. Whoa! Lightning McQueen! Hmm, let's see what's in here. Directions. I guess we need these. It comes with an app? Mom, could you help me download the app? Wow, it feels like a real race car. Just shrunken down to a toy size. The controls are different because everything is run through an app on a smart device. Oh, how cool. His animatronic mouse can say phrases from the movie. Look out, folks. Lightning McQueen is back! Whoa, the LED lights look so real! Check it out, the app lets you play cool games like Kids Stop Panic. Gas combo! He can go up to six miles per hour! Hey, come on, let's go! I feel like a real race car driver. I had a blast unboxing Firo's Ultimate Lightning McQueen today. The crowd loves us. 